Hey everybody, just want to give you guys a quick tip. Whoever flies a quad or anything with a GPS, like for instance this thing, you know how long it takes sometimes for those GPS, especially on this LR4, how long it could take to get some satellites, especially ready to fly. Um, the issue with that is when you plug in your battery right there on the top, um, you're actually running your whole quadcopter. So the uh, you're running the video transmitter, everything. And that video transmitter gets really, really hot. So a little quick tip for you. Uh, get yourself one of these things. Basically what this is, it's just from a, a car um, USB adapter for a charger. So what I did is I took one, took it apart, stuck an XT60 on the end of it, and then just uh, put um, just a little USB, this thing takes USB-C, so it's a USB-C connector on the end of it, just a little short cable. And what I do is before my flight, you plug in, so I'm not gonna, I'm one-handed right now, so I can't do it. So you plug in the USB, don't plug in the battery. Your radio, if you put on telemetry on the screen, like it's not on right now, but I have a telemetry screen, it'll tell you how many satellites you have. So when you hit your five satellites or six, whatever you have programmed in, I have five for mine, it'll tell you on screen, and then you're ready to go. So all you do is you go up to your uh, quadcopter or aircraft, whatever you're being using. I use it on both of them the same way. You plug in your XT60 on the top and just unplug your USB cable and you're ready to fly. Everything stays cool that way. Everything works perfectly and uh, no damage to your uh, video transmitter, your very expensive video transmitter. Um, it works fantastic. I, I made this a couple of weeks ago. I've been using it for now for a few weeks and it works flawlessly. It works on 3S and 4S. Uh, no problem. I didn't try anything bigger. I don't have bigger batteries. But uh, guys, save yourself a big pain in the butt. Always Because uh, I used to just unplug my transmitter down here. Just undo the little connector here. I want to plug that. But it becomes such a pain. These are very tiny wires. So you don't want to strip them or rip them out of the, uh, the transmitter. So I just uh, did that. And that's a little trick I saw online. I don't know who told me, but you know what? It works great. And you have perfect connections every time. And it usually takes within three, four minutes. If it's a cold start. And you're up and flying. And that's it. And nothing gets hot. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye for now.